the stir up with Miss Cosmo. Exclusive to 5FM. Hey, the big hash solved the problem on 5FM. That one's called Plug Nice. And of course, the homie himself is finally in studio. Make some noise for big hash. <laughs> what up, though? I was going to do that sound effect. Oh, uh, really? <laughs> yeah. Don't worry. We're a hip-hop show. We've got everything sorted here. Oh, <laughs> We've been doing this. Welcome to the Stir Up. Thank you so much for having me. Yes, you almost didn't make it. Yes. Why are you late? Tell your friend, your fans why you are late. Because he knows he's late. Guys, huh? it's because the big hash messed up. Mm-hmm. And it's his fault entirely okay. on his own accord. Even though behind the scenes, they'll never let you know what <laughs> really course. happened. Of course, of course. <laughs> um, okay, well, welcome to the store up. You've had an amazing year. I think even a, an amazing two years, if I'm not mistaken. Um, obviously, the music is out. Circles is out. Or Young, sorry, is out. That's the name of the album. Yes. Um, I hear on Mixed the... Mixtape. Well, mm-hmm. I hear on the streets that there's an album on the way. Uh, yeah, but mm. you may be mistaken. Okay, well, we'll get into a little bit more of that in a moment. So give us a bit of a breakdown. Like, where are you from? What's your vibe? Like, I, I know obviously people are hearing about you because of the music and they're hearing a lot of people mentioning your name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But who is the Big Hash? Uh, the Big Hash is a 19-year-old musician. Mm-hmm. From the city of Pretoria, Cap City, that's where I come from. Uh-huh. Um, and you know, I'm just the type of person that just loves, loves my city, yes. And I rip it so well, uh huh. And um, I guess I, I don't speak for myself. If you play my mp3, you'll understand who I am. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you're all about the music. You're all about people getting to know you through the music. Yes, I... I dig that. I dig that. And of course, the music has been one of those things that we've all kind of gotten to know you through. And um, I I only got, uh, well, wind of you because of Ricky Rick. Mm. So how did you actually get to meeting Ricky for you guys to actually have that kind of a vibe for him to say, yo, this is the next kid to, to kind of look out for? Uh, So basically... I dropped um, an EP last year, or the year before that, actually, sorry. Mm, we're in 2020 now. We're in 2020 now, yes. sorry. Uh, in 2018, it was called Life in Times of a Teenage Influence EP. And basically, um, Ricky hit up my team after hearing um, that project. And he's like, yo, like, you know, like let's link up. You know, uh, I'm just trying to see what the vibe is with you boys. And... The same day he hit us up, like literally we linked the same night. Like nice. He, he pulled up to the studio, you know, we kicked it, um, threw out a couple jams here and there. Uh, and like, I guess it was more of like, he he messed with the energy a lot more than the music itself. Yes. And he started bringing me out to shows mm-hmm. and then took off. The rest is history. Yes, sir. That's so dope, especially getting that, that recognition from somebody so big. Did you expect that to happen so soon for you? Uh, honestly speaking, no. Really? No, no. I mean, I, like, obviously, like, if I put it out there, I'm trying to put out music, like, because I want to change my life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, sooner or later it was bound to happen, but I didn't expect it to, to come, like, that fast. Like, yo, it's in, it's in your face now. Exactly. You know? um, but, you know, it's a blessing in disguise. A lot of things happen. A lot of things have happened. A lot of things will happen. Yes. Because of all of these blessings. Definitely. I'm glad that you're one of those people who actually counts your blessings because a lot mm-hmm. of people also kind of feel that they, they're they running off of their own steam. Are you very spiritual in that regard? Yes, actually. Mm. Yes. Okay, yes. that's good. It's nice to have a belief system. Uh, give us a bit of a breakdown as to the big hash, the name. Because I think a lot of people obviously think, yo, okay, the big hash, I know. 
is, you know, we're going to see somebody coming in with the power. And then uh. you walk in and you're a little bit smaller than someone yeah, would expect. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah. I, I get that a lot as well. When people <laughs> see me, they're like, how can you do this short? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so you. give me a breakdown about the name. Um. So basically, it's like the first day of high school, I get there and I'm this tiny kid. Yeah. You know? I've got like a huge head. <laughs> I've got huge hands. <laughs> I've got huge feet and a tiny body. Like I was like way tinier than this, bro. Like, mm. You don't even believe me, you know? <laughs> and uh I got to I got to the school and everyone was so fascinated by how large my foot was on such a small body and they're like, Oh, it's the myth, it's the legend, it's Bigfoot. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like What's going on here? Yeah. And now Hans are calling me Bigfoot. Bigfoot, wow. Yeah, it's deep. And it's just like, okay, I need to find a way to get rid of this name quick. If I don't embrace it now, it's going to stick yes. the wrong way. Yeah. And uh, I started rolling with it for a bit. You know, um, I, I, I was just like regular Bigfoot. Then I was like, nah, Bigfoot K because my surname starts with the K. Yeah. And then... Uh, I ended up removing the K from it and then putting a hashtag in front of it. So it was like hashtag Bigfoot, but the hashtag was silent just to make it look cool to stick. I was in grade eight, you know. Yeah. Like all these, There's a lot happening. You know, like Twitter was just <laughs> yeah. booming. Black Twitter didn't even exist yet. Yes. So um, during that point, I, I think I rolled with that name, hashtag Bigfoot, for like two years. Yeah. Up until grade 10. And then it was time to make a, an IG account now. Oh. I'm trying to find out. Hey, what am I gonna call myself here? Because no one is gonna follow a guy called Bigfoot here. <laughs> exactly. Uh, <laughs> so, um, I saw the hashtag next to the big. I was like, oh, um, the big hash. And then I just made an Instagram name. But then I kept rolling with Bigfoot, and then I got to school. And then homie of mine was like, yo, bro, like, stop tripping. That name is fire. Keep that. It's better than Bigfoot. Yes. Like, and then uh, I started rolling with it since. Oh, nice. Okay, well, you know, there's always a story behind every name, and I guess that kind of makes sense. You know yeah. what I mean? It's an identity at the end of uh, the day. It's part uh. of who you are. All right, so if, if you still want to hear a little bit more from Big Hash and you want to find out a little bit more from him, maybe you there's a specific question that's been niggling you for a long time. Hit me up on the WhatsApp line, 0825505151. This is a beautiful song coming off of that mixtape, Young. One of those songs that have done so well uh, in the streets, in the culture, on radio circles. The Big Hash on 5FM with Circles, that one coming off of his mixtape, Young. I've still got the Big Hash in studio with me. Like I said, those questions can come through on the WhatsApp line 082 Or if you want to call him and speak to him directly, 089-11-0505. We're going to be chatting to him for a while here on the Stir Up. And, uh, okay, so the music is out, obviously, like, you started your career while you were in high school, mm-hmm. correct? Yes. Where well, you started like kind of putting the music together. Uh, yeah, definitely high school. But there was a point where you then decided maybe this high school thing's not really for me. Yeah. Give me the give me the journey as to why exactly you decided. Let me rather concentrate on the music, leave the school thing, and push forward. What motivated you to do that? Okay. Um. So basically, um, in 2016 when I was in grade 10, mm. um. My my mom had like some serious um, financial issues that she was going through, and um, it got it got so bad that um, I remember going to school, back to school. I, I went to a boarding school mm. at the time, and I went back to school um, for the third term of that year. Mm. And I remember them turning us away, saying, Ooh. "Yo, like." your coins where they at yeah know? and like it was bad because like we we were really deep in debt like mm. everything was just falling apart and um there was a time when i didn't go to school and i was just like so desperate like because i, I like i i didn't want to see my mom in that position mm. and i was like you know what Nat? um i'm gonna do this the only way that i know how mm. you know i'm gonna try to change my life the way i want to mm. change everyone's life the way you know i yeah. want to 
and um, that's when I started taking music seriously. But it didn't really happen like that. Like yeah. I think I recorded like one song. <laughs> yeah, I studio recorded, time is expensive. It's expensive. It's expensive. Like exactly. I recorded like literally one song, uh, and then. I literally marketed that song for like three or four months because eight hey, coins went there, man. Exactly. And I was like stuck in another school on the other side yeah. of the world because like it was bad. Yeah, I mean, sometimes unfortunate situations like that kind of teach you how to mm. grow up, how to be a man, how mm. to take responsibility for certain situations. Uh, we're going to get into a little bit more of that story with Big Hash here on 5FM. Like I said, send through those questions to the WhatsApp line 0825501151. We'll be back after these. Save me so do, do, do. The Big Hash on 5FM This one's called Save Me Still hanging out with him in studio Taking some of your voice notes as well so, Some of you showing love And saying yo who is this guy Yes That's what we want here on the show. We're trying to introduce you to people. Some people might not know who you are. I mean, the rest of us do. But that's the energy you want. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? And apparently there was also another question on the WhatsApp line asking exactly what is your real name? Since you've given us the breakdown of the big hash. (laughs) <laughs> Who is big? Like, what's on your ID right now? Y'all can go Google that. <laughs> <laughs> but we have you right here. You can give us a breakdown. Y'all can go Google no, that. No, no, My no. My mom is listening right now. Exactly. So she wants to know the name that she, she gave She can you. tell you herself. <laughs> you can tell us. <laughs> no. Um, so why are you acting like it's completely long? Hey, man. That's like three... Different phone numbers, okay. <laughs> I keep saying. <laughs> well, uh, nice to have you in studio. Tegeto. Is that what you said? Yes, Tegeto, but Tegeto. that's not the name I use. Oh, mm. okay. Mm-hmm. Well, at least your mom knows that you've, you know, you've represented yourself on radio for tonight. Well, I have no choice. Someone <laughs> else is going to Google it anyways and find it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, just getting back into your story about um, the school situation. So, obviously, it's unfortunate, but I-, I like the fact that you rose above it and decided, you know what, I need to kind of take the situation into my hands, become the man, and, um, you know, pursue this music thing. Yeah. Do you see any value in education? Do you see yourself possibly either going back to finish or maybe doing anything education-wise for yourself? You know, I'll be very honest. Um, I don't see myself going back to education. What I do see myself doing, though, is uh, learning a lot more in terms of, like, the music business and how mm. it works, its ins and outs. Um, more about the fashion business because I'm trying to go into fashion as well because I nice. understand that, like, you know, um, you need to be multifaceted in this industry if yes. you're going to survive. Um, but yeah, like definitely for me, I think the biggest point is just like learning about life on its own. I don't need school to teach me that. Yes. You know, I hear you. I hear you. I guess also your experiences also kind of teach you a lot of things as well. Mm -hmm. Uh, but also being in the industry, you also learn certain things kind of, um, getting into the industry and rubbing shoulders with the likes of Ricky Rick and all the other types of features that you had. Mm -hmm. What do you think? the certain lessons that you've learned from being within the industry, especially now uh, that you are obviously more recognizable than before? Mm, um, well, because I'm young, mm. I have a lot left to learn. Like, I, I can say I've learned like 3% of the industry. Like, really? I can say three per- proudly, 3%. Because uh-huh. like as much as people can say, ah, 3%, is that all you know? Yeah. Like, bro, like try to find out like the 97% yes. of the other stuff. And like... It's difficult. It's difficult. Yes. It's, it's not It's not easy. But like I'm, I'm, I'm taking it as uh, as the time goes. I'm moving with the right team, the right people. Mm-hmm. That's what I've learned as well. Um, like Having people, the right people. Yeah, having the right people. Mm-hmm. Like the, 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 the right people in your corner. Having people who are going to know what you want to do 10, 10 months from now before you even know it. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Like Yeah, the planning phase is yeah, very important. Yeah, the planning important. phase is yeah. very important. And like that's what I've, I've, I've learned most definitely. And also like... Just having um, respect for the culture, man. Yeah. You know, um, there's a lot of there's a lot of things that uh, I picked up on the street 
that I didn't like necessarily understand from you know from the outside looking in yeah like when you're finally in the industry and you get to know its ins and outs like you respect a lot more things than you have others and yes you know it's it's it's, it's principle i think that's what i've learned so mm. far that's so dope i like that i can see that you've you've definitely got a good head on your shoulders it's just obviously certain things come together at a certain time but yeah, you, yeah, yeah. i'm sure you also kind of believe that certain things happen for a reason of you know course. what i mean yeah serendipity Definitely. Um, and uh, what what is it about your music that you think kind of got you the attention that you're getting right now? Like, because obviously being in the industry now, everybody's trying to get in. Everybody's trying to rap. Everybody's trying to be on. Mm -hmm. What is it about you that you think people are paying attention to to be like, yo, he's definitely got next? You know, I'll be 120% honest this time. Mm. The only reason why people actually listen to my music Mm. is because I'm honest. Okay. Bring More honest than others. Reason being is because I'm honest from a kid's perspective. Okay. I'm honest for a lot of people who can't be honest to their parents. <laughs> okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, um, I represent a whole new generation. Yes. And I speak of experiences that are being felt by this generation right now. Yeah. And I'm not talking about, you know, um, your, 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 your average 25, 30 year old. Like I'm a 2000, kill 2000 guys. Yes. Like, you know what's up? Like, yes. And, and it's the thing of like, I need to, I need to be able to tell these stories so that generations going forward, there's less generations who feel conflicted about being honest about how they really feel inside yeah. you know yeah all right we're going to get into a little bit more of that here on 5fm like i said you can still hit us up on the whatsapp line with some of your questions some of your comments maybe you just want to show him some love 0825505151 the big hash is still in the studio we are going to make our way to the local top five in a moment as well this one featuring I'm sensei my garden, smell like garden. oh my god I the big hash with Sensei on this one is called Harden. Getting so much love on the WhatsApp line. One saying, oh, I'm so inspired by the hit you've just played. So close. Awesome. Raw talent. Uh, that one coming through from Di Divine Rhythms in Fishhook in Cape Town. So people are hearing your music all around the country. People are digging your vibes. Don't you get like goosebumps or like weirded out when like people in like remote places are like, oh, big hash and doana. You've got it with this one. Every time. <laughs> Every time. Never gets old. Do you get a chance to actually travel out to some of these places? Uh, honestly speaking, like, I I don't necessarily get to see these places. Like, mm. um, I think it's like I have, I have uh, a lot of fans, but they're scattered, uh. you know? So it's like, uh, it's pointless for me pulling up to uh to one province for 30 people or five people or you know like anything under 100 at yes. least you know like and it's like i want to be able to give people an experience when i'm outside of the province like mm. when i pop up to a show like like let's rock out you know yes, what i'm saying yeah, like yeah, yeah. and and i want i want everybody to rock out i don't want five people to rock out you know I hear you, I hear you. But I guess it's all about putting in the, 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 the work at the end of the day because that's what will get the people to the shows. Yeah. You know, so yeah. you got to keep on grinding, keep on uh, making sure that the music is out there. All right, so a little bit earlier we had spoken about your music and how honest you are with regards to your music. Mm. But something else that you were quite honest about sometime last year was the fact that you needed to kind of take a break. Mm -hmm. You were like, you're going through some stuff right now. Maybe you need to kind of take a social media break or maybe even just a break from the entertainment mm -hmm. industry. What exactly was going on? Um, so basically, I had hit um, a wall creatively mm -hmm. um, and emotionally. Mm -hmm. um, it was like overwhelming just to be finally in that space. But the whole world telling you to do 5,000 different things mm. to live up to another person that they put you up against. And it's just like, why should I have to be in that position knowing that, like, 
I didn't come into this industry trying to put myself in this position. Yeah. I came into the industry because I love to make music and I love putting it out there. I love mm. giving people music, you know what I'm saying? And I don't mm. want to be compared to somebody else and have the standards of living to someone else's expectations because they've set a bar that I need to break because you know like it's it's a ceiling that needs you know to be torn down. It like it's it, it doesn't make sense yeah. and like I just you know took a break and uh, I had to focus on uh, myself and also um, getting in touch with um, my religious side. Okay. Um, I've, I've been working a lot more internally than I have been, like, you know, externally. Yes. Um, but that's good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, it definitely is because it, it, it got me through a, a, a time where I think most people they wouldn't know how to you know snap out of it yes you know i was actually about to ask you about that because it also kind of seemed very uh, very quick yeah your little break that you kind of took because it yeah. was like okay you made this announcement i'm taking a break i'd I taken it kinda... for a while yeah but then when you made the announcement yeah. it kind of felt like okay that's when he's going off yeah. you know what i mean yeah. and then all of a sudden then you're back in and you're still mm. doing shows and things like that so it was like okay but when did you take the break oh no i've been taking a break <laughs> like the fact that i haven't dropped any music since march Okay. Uh, Circles came out March. That was the last thing I dropped with Young. Yeah. Um, and like, I've been, you know, been uh, very, very, very careful about how I move behind the scenes. I've made a lot of business moves so that this year could be the, the year, year. You know. Nice, nice. Well, it possibly could be that year because uh, we all know that the big hash wallet well, had just been announced this past week that you hit number one. Of that new wave uh, list. How do you feel about that? Uh, Basically, the panel said, you know, hottest MCs, we saw that one last year. They said, okay, sharp, those ones will always be there. But there's the new kids that we need to be on the lookout for. And at number one of that list is the big hash. Yeah, man. Uh-huh. Uh, I got, I got, I got a lot of, I got a lot of people putting money on my head. Mm. Uh, it feels great and overwhelming at the same time. Um, is it too much pressure? I mean, like, I've managed to to get through the pressure. I mean, like, you, you can't live in this industry without ever facing pressure at all. Yes. You know? Um, but it's something that uh, I've, I've, I've just, like, decided to to just let stand, you know? Like, mm. I feel like that, number one, uh, as much as it's amazing, it doesn't mean anything to me more than a number one with my song or yes. like you know a number one with uh you know with anything that I do besides just being number one next up. But but don't you think don't you think your music is what's kind of getting people to give you that appreciation because it's an appreciation at the end of the of day. Of course. And if you weren't making hot music, you wouldn't be appreciated to be put at number one. I mean, I understand that a hundred percent, but I'm just saying, like, um, 2020 is the year to not be coming up still. Okay. You know? Okay, I hear you. Like, I hear you. So you don't want to still be I, a newcomer. You yeah, want to be I, in. I, I want like I want to be in. Like I want to make sure that whatever that I do is going to set the next record for the next 5 years, not nice. focusing on someone else, focusing on me and ah, the stuff that I do. I hear you. I hear you. Um all right, so if you weren't rapping, mm. what would you be doing? I've been asked that many, 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 many times. And you know what I always say? Nothing. <laughs> what? Nothing else? You yep. Really? You can't even think of what else you could possibly be doing? Nope. Even when you were younger, <laughs> like there was no other aspirations whatsoever? No. Nope. Really? Nope. Um, when I was younger... I never wanted anything to do with life. I just wanted to be, you know, a, a kid. A star. No, oh, okay. a kid. But uh, I always knew, like, um, when when I turned, I think when I turned 11, yeah. that's when I actually, like, started taking a lot more, you know, uh, music initiative. And then yeah. that's when I knew, like, okay, you know what, nah, this is it. This is it. Nice, yeah. nice, nice. All right, so obviously coming up... Um, it takes a while for people to kind of get into this industry. It takes a while for people to pay attention. It also takes a while for people to actually start taking you seriously. So much so that they actually pay you the fee that you want to be paid. Mm. Right? 
when you finally <laughs> got that big check where you're like, people are starting to respect me now, mm-hmm. what's the first thing you bought? Uh, you know, I don't remember. Ooh, did you just blow it like that? Uh, huh? You I've, know, like... I won't trust you if you win the lotto. Eh? Thing is you won't remember what you bought. I think is ne, I think you might find me on I blew it. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> um, but like, I think, what was it? The first thing I bought was a pizza. Oh. <laughs> first thing I bought was a pizza when yes. I got like a, a, a my my first big 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 bag. Yes. Yeah, pizza. Okay. Well, I mean, that's it's one of the the simple pleasures of life, I guess, when you're able to kind of do something for yourself with your own money and be like, I didn't get this from my parents. I didn't have to hustle this. You know what I mean? It's something that you earned for yourself. When you earn it, it feels yes. amazing. Yes. Yes, yes. Sure. Big Ash, where's the music? <laughs> People want the music. Okay, um, so I'm just saying it on the air right now. Uh, mm-hmm. I got this new single coming out. Yeah. <laughs> I got this new single coming out. Uh, it's, it's called Amnesia. Woo, okay. Yeah. Um, so uh, when can we expect said, said single? Or is it coming in the next week? Is it coming in the next month? Or should we just like wait until you're ready to kind of drop it? Count your days, count your blessings, count your hours. Yes! <laughs> That's all we want to know. That's yes, all we want to know. Okay, cool. Well, at least the music is coming because like you said, the last time you dropped something was in March last year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So almost a year later, we're getting brand new music from the Big Hash Literally. and that's all we're kind of excited for. I think you're going to have an amazing 2020. I think it's definitely going to move in your direction and I like the way the energy that you kind of have and how you're kind of running and saying, yo, I still want to work. I still want to make sure that people kind of hear me yeah, and you're not yeah, trying yeah. to be too arrogant about it. So kind of yeah. keep it there. I mean, I t- don't I seen, get too gassed up. I seen too many people uh, at, 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 at that point, and I felt like uh, I might have also nearly crossed that junction. Mm-hmm. And then you pulled yourself. If back. if I didn't have like if 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 not both feet, then at least one foot through the door, uh-huh. and I had to take it out. Like yo, okay, nah. nah I'm nah, glad nah, you nah. saw it before it got too late. Because <laughs> that's how a lot of people kind of lose their footing, yeah, and yeah. then they're like, ah. What happened? Because I was on top. Exactly, Mm. exactly. So shout out to you. Thank you so much for coming through to the store. I really appreciate it. Uh, And uh, yeah, man, I guess what else can we look forward to besides the single that's going to be dropping soon? Uh, The Palm Trees music video. Nice, finally. uh, Me and Toho got uh, some other crazy, crazy visuals coming through. Um, And hopefully within the next month, it should be sitting on your TV screen. Yeah. Yes. You know what I'm the work uh, is coming. The work is coming. Yeah, and then I got uh, Nyani too uh, with a nutty and yes. boy team. Yeah. Oh, uh, I can't wait to hear that. Yeah. I think that's gonna be fire. I was I was waiting for the right timing, and uh, I guess you know it, it would have made sense to drop it this year. It's it's. I mean, it was it was too ahead of its time to drop it last year. Sorry. Yes. So. <laughs> okay, but then if. Oh. Okay, so we're getting Amnesia first just to say, okay, I'm back in the game. Yeah. Okay, and then Yanni's only going to come later. Because yeah. I've been waiting to hear it. Because yeah. when, I, when I heard the announcement, I was like, Yo, okay, <laughs> okay, this is going to be hot. All yeah. right, we'll be patient enough, we'll be patient enough. But I guess everybody just needs to stay tuned and keep following you on your socials, correct? Yes, sir. And for those people who don't know, where can we follow you? Uh, on Instagram, it is the big hash. And I deactivated my Twitter. Wow, okay. Yes. When so. are you coming back? Uh, I doubt, man. I doubt, man. Really? Uh, I mean, some people are just more savage than others. Some people are just like, you know, <laughs> less prepared for what they see on their screens. Okay. So, you know, it was it was an indefinite exit. Let's you, just call it that. You're not about the trolls. I'm not. Okay. I'm not. Well, at least you, you want sanity and that's a good thing because yeah. at least you want you know what you want. You so there you have it. There. there you have it. That is the big hash here on the store. Thank you so much for coming through. Thanks for making the effort. Thanks for making the time. Thank you for having me, man. Yes, yes, yes. And of course, uh, we are still here on 5FM we're still going to give you the local top 5 we do have a brand new number 5 for this week played it as a new heat last week got so much love it made it to the charts this this